Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design retaining walls using the RAM Elements Retaining Wall Detailing Module. Now this particular detailing module only works as a standalone application. So as you can see, I've launched RAM Elements main application and I'm going to directly access the Retaining Wall Detailing Module, which I can do by selecting the Modules tab in the ribbon toolbar, select the standalone option within the wall tools, and then go to the retaining wall design module. Now the first thing I'm going to do once within the retaining wall, now once the retaining wall detailing module opens, you're going to notice several key areas of your screen. First at the top of the screen, we have our ribbon toolbar. In the beginning part of this training, we're gonna be spending our time modeling our wall, which we will do through the home tab of the ribbon toolbar. Over at the left-hand side of your screen, you're gonna find the data area, which is what we're going to use to enter all of our wall properties and soil properties and loads. In the main area of your screen, you're gonna notice that our graphical representation of our wall is being displayed. And what you'll notice is that any item within red is editable directly through the main window. Let's go ahead and remove return to the data area. And the first thing we're gonna do is select our unit system. We're gonna be using the English unit system for today's session. And we're gonna select our design code. I'm gonna go ahead and select the ACI 318 14 code. Next we're going to enter our wall type. Walls can either be tapered or not and they can either be cantilevered walls or restrained walls. I'm going to create a cantilever style retaining wall with a straight geometry for today's session. Next let's go ahead and enter our wall geometry and material properties. You're going to notice that our capabilities within the detailing module includes the option to consider keys with your design. Once you get to one of your material property options, you're going to use your pull down menu and you're going to notice that RAM Elements comes with a full database of material properties for reinforced concrete and also masonry. I'm going to select the United States group, the reinforced concrete option, and I'm going to define my concrete as C4-60. This would be 4,000 PSI concrete with 60 KSI reinforcing steel. Once you've entered all of your wall geometry and materials, this would be a good time to save your file. Now to save this file periodically, you're going to use the save icon within the quick access toolbar. To return to the RAM Elements main application, you can click File Exit. And to return to your detailing wall module, you just need to access the detailing wall module itself and then click the Open icon, which will allow you to open this file type.
Let's go ahead and proceed on and enter our soil properties, which will include our backfill data and also our foundation soil data. We're going to ask the program to calculate our soil bearing capacity, so we're going to ensure that this checkbox is selected. The next piece of information we need to supply the program with is our loading information, including any surcharge loads that might be present, any vertical loads on the wall, and also any lateral loads or wind loads or pressures that might be present. After you enter your loading information, you're ready to create your load combinations. So here I'm going to see two sets of load combinations. I have my strength design load combinations and also service design load combinations. Let's go ahead and start with our strength design load combinations. These are the combinations that will be used by the program in order to evaluate the concrete strength and also to generate your reinforcement plan. Now you're going to notice within this dialog, I do have an option to generate our load combinations. And I'm going to go ahead and utilize one of the RAM elements load combination generators that are supplied with the program. For this session today, I'm going to select the ASCE 710 LRFD factored load combinations load combination generator. Click the generate button and then we'll confirm our combinations by clicking OK. Next, let's move on to our service load combinations. These are the load combinations that are going to be used to evaluate the overall wall stability, such as overturning and sliding of the retaining wall. Now, I need to make sure my load combinations include hydrostatic pressure, and I'm not exactly seeing a load combination generator that I want to use for that. So if you'd like some additional control, you can always enter in your load combinations generator manually by using the nomenclature in RAM elements for each load type. Once you've entered all of your load combinations, we're going to move on to our design data and we're going to take a look at our optimization parameters. These will be different parameters that will help you control your design, including which types of bar sizes you want to specify or any spacing requirements that you have for your reinforcement design. I'm going to design my bars based on the maximum bar size. I'm going to ask for my longitudinal bars to be either number fives, sixes, or sevens. And for my transverse bars, I'm going to ask them to be either four, fives, or sixes. You can choose to reduce the reinforcement where not required, and you can consider maximum reinforcement in the tension zone, which I'll go ahead and select. Now before we move on to the final design, let's go ahead and also take a look at our advanced options. So in the Home tab of the Ribbon Toolbar, I'm going to select the Advanced icon. And you can see here you can specify some global stability information, some concrete information, and some reinforcement design. You're going to notice that you can select different types of concrete and also whether or not you're using epoxy coated bars. Now as you select each of these options, you're going to notice that the help that the help window will be available at the right hand side of this dialog to give you some additional information about what you're specifying at that moment. 
I'm going to go ahead and keep all of the default parameters for the advanced parameters for the advanced options. At this point, I'm ready to move on to the design and detailing of my reinforcement wall. And I'm going to start by optimizing the design for the wall geometry that I have currently. So let's go ahead and click the Optimize icon in the Home tab of the Ribbon Toolbar. Now after the wall is optimized, you're going to notice that the status bar at the bottom of the screen will be updated. We do include an indicator light in this status bar, which will tell you the progress of your design. If the bar was red, it would indicate that something in your wall has failed. It would be a no good status. Something in yellow or a yellow status would indicate that your wall was completed, but you may be receiving some warnings. And then a green light indicates your wall passed. A successful reinforcement design was determined. Let's go ahead and take a look at our reinforcement design. So in the ribbon toolbar, we're now going to select our detailing option. Here we're going to see all of the reinforcement that was designed for your wall, including your longitudinal reinforcement and your transverse reinforcement. Now you can customize this reinforcement if you want to make any changes directly through the data area, or you can also use any of the icons available in the ribbon toolbar. So let's say, for example, that I want to modify my transverse reinforcement. I can go ahead and enter my transverse reinforcement manually. Let's go ahead and say I want this in the stem. I want number fours at 12 inches on center. Let's go ahead and click OK. And then it's gone ahead and created that reinforcement for you. So all of this is fully customizable. Let's go ahead and return to the Home tab of the Ribbon Toolbar. Now, if I want to wipe clear any of the reinforcement detailing that I just specified, I could, of course, re-optimize, and then that reinforcement will be lost. We'll return back to the optimized state of the wall. Now, instead of specifying your dimensions of your retaining wall, you can also ask the program to suggest some dimensions for you. So if you'd like to do that, we can go to the Home tab of the Ribbon Toolbar and ask it to suggest dimensions. And you can see that it changed some of the dimensions of my toe and my heel width. Um, the wall thicknesses, however, did not change. Now, if I want to specify some manual reinforcement and some specific wall properties, I can go into the detailing area. And if I want to check that reinforcement, I can use the check icon as well. This will be a great tool that's available if you're checking any existing retaining walls. Now that we've gone through our full design process, let's go ahead and take a look at our design report that is generated. So in the Home tab of the Ribbon Toolbar, you can now select your Reports icon, and you can scroll through your design report, which will give you all of your calculations and input information. You can scroll here to look through what's the status. And this is an especially useful tool if you did have anything that was producing warnings or was insufficient for the design. Now you're going to notice that this report can be printed. It could also be saved as a Word file or an Excel file as well. The last area that we're going to go ahead and take a look at is the diagrams area. So if you'd like some additional information on the loads and the reactions on your retaining wall, you can come to this area. You can review your diagrams for any loading condition. You can review the diagrams for any of your moments or shear forces on your walls. And you could take a look at different elements within your wall. In addition to that, you can also take a look at your analytical model for any additional information. And if you'd like to see the loads on your wall, you can do that as well. At this point, this concludes our process for utilizing the RAM Elements Retaining Wall Detailing Module to design a retaining wall. To return to the RAM Elements main application, we can just select File, followed by Exit. We are back in RAM Elements where we can 
continue on with anything else we're working on or also shut the program down if we are done. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.